the digital age, checks are still commonly used, even if they're not as common as they once were. Writing a check is a simple and low-cost method of transferring funds, but chances are you don't use it on a regular basis. In case you've never written one, we've got you covered. Welcome to Money Talk, where we discuss tips on making money. In this video, we are going to talk about how to write a personal check. But before we begin, don't forget to hit that like button, hit subscribe, and click that notification bell to receive updates and be the first to check out our latest videos. When it comes to moving money, writing a check is time-consuming and less efficient. You may be able to save money and make your life easier by considering different possibilities. You can, for instance, pay your bills online, and you can even tell your bank to send you a check every month. You won't have to write out the check, pay for postage, or mail it. Spend using a debit card instead of cash. The only difference is that payments will be made digitally rather than physically coming out of the same account. Set up recurring payments, such as utility bills and insurance premiums, to be paid automatically through the biller's website. In most cases, you don't have to pay a fee to use this method. Regardless of how you pay, be sure you have enough money in your checking account at all times. Make sure you keep track of all your payments. If you don't, you'll run into trouble, including high fees and possible legal concerns. If you do decide that you need a check, how do you fill one out? Now, let's talk about writing the perfect check. Current date. Write today's date in the upper right-hand corner of the page. Your records will be more accurate if they are sent on a date that is current. Payee. Indicate who you're sending money to in the pay to the order of section. This information must be exact, so you have to think about who you are making the check out for. The amount and numbers. In the right-hand box, enter the amount of your payment Begin by writing as far to the left as you can. For example, it is important to keep the aid close to the left-hand border of the dollar box if your payment is for $8.15. The amount in words. To minimize fraud and confusion, write out the amount in words instead of numbers. This is the amount you'll be billed for. Your check's value will be determined by the amount you wrote out not the numeric form you entered before. Your signature. On the line in the bottom right corner, sign the check clearly. Use the same name and signature that your bank already has on file. This step is very important because you have to sign a check for it to be valid. Memo line or or line. This step is not required and has no bearing on how banks handle checks. The memo line is a nice reminder of why the check was written for. For instance, you could write your account number if you were paying a utility bill. What's next after writing the check? Keep a record of your payment once you've written the check. If you're using a paper or electronic check register, this is a great spot to keep track of your finances. Once the check is deposited or cashed, the money will no longer be available in your account unless you record the payment. The payment should be recorded while it's still fresh in your mind. Recording every check you write in a check register allows you to accomplish the following things. Keep an eye on your spending to prevent your checks from being returned. Be aware of the destination of your funds. Your bank statements may only display a check number and amount with no description of the person to whom you made the check. Find signs of identity theft and fraudulent activity in your bank account. You should have been given a check register along with your checkbook when you first got your account. In the event that you do not have access to one, it is simple to create your own using either paper or a spreadsheet. Make sure to record all of the details from your check, including the check number, the date the check was written, a description of the transaction, how much the payment was for. The register can be used to balance your bank account, 
This refers to the habit of double-checking transactions in your bank account to ensure that you and the bank have the same understanding. You will know if there are errors in your account or if someone neglected to deposit a check you wrote. Tips you need to know when writing a check When you write a check, make sure it gets used to pay the amount you expected to the person or organization you want. Make it permanent. In order to make it permanent, always use a pen when writing a check. Using a pencil, anyone with an eraser can edit your check's amount and the name of the recipient. Blank checks are a big no-no. Do not sign a check until you have filled in the payee's name and amount. If you are unsure of who to make the check payable to or how much anything costs, wait to fill out the check. If you just sign a blank check, anyone can write it for any amount they wish. Maintain a consistent signature. Some individuals even sign their checks and credit card slips with amusing graphics, but using the same signature repeatedly helps you and your bank spot fraud. If a signature does not match, it will be easier for you to prove that you are not responsible for the costs. No cash. Never make a check payable to cash. This is as unsafe as carrying a signed blank check or a large sum of cash. You can get it from an ATM, buy a pack of gum with your debit card and get cash back. Or just ask a teller for cash. Even while checks aren't as common as they once were, you may still need to pay for services, make a purchase, or send money using one. If you don't already have one, Make sure to ask your bank about getting one or how to order a supply of them. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button, click subscribe, and hit the notification bell to receive updates on our latest videos. Also, feel free to leave us a comment. If you want to watch more videos, head on over to our channel to see more from Money Talk. See you!